Hello, 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 everyone. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, and today is AMI Day 22. So I'll go ahead and start our video with a couple of announcements. My um, first announcement is that we will have a Zoom meeting today at 3.30 um, to continue our read aloud of the graveyard book. So I will post a link for that on Google Classroom, Class Dojo, and Remind. So all you have to do is click that link that I share and that will get you into the Zoom meeting today at 3.30 and it'll put you in a waiting room and I'll just admit you into the meeting from that waiting room and you can join us for our um, read aloud today. Also, um, the next announcement is that we still have spots for you to sign up for um, daily tutoring. I'll be doing tutoring sessions Monday through Friday from 11.30 to 3.00. So you can sign up for a 30 minute tutoring spot. This is optional. You don't have to sign up. This is just to offer you some extra help if you're struggling with some AMI stuff or you just wanna ha um, have some time to meet with me and talk through something, maybe talk through math or writing, just to give you that extra help. I shared the link for that on Class Dojo and on Remind. You just click that, um, click that Google Sheets link and then you can sign up there. If you need to request access, it'll tell you, you just click request access and it sends me an email and then I grant you access and then it'll let you know and then you can go back on there and sign up for a 30 minute time slot. If you think you might need more than 30 minutes, you can sign up for two slots. So you have an hour time, um, time slot for tutoring, but that's just to offer you some extra help if you wanna sign up for that. If you have any questions or need help signing up for tutoring time, just message me on Class Dojo or Remind or Google Classroom, you can message me any of those places and let me know and I can get you signed up for some tutoring time and help you with some extra, some extra stuff. So maybe you just need some extra help for math or reading or writing, I'm here to help you guys. And that was just a way to um, give you a chance to sign up for some tutoring time. So those are my only announcements for today. So we'll go ahead and get started with our work for today. So today is Wednesday. So on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays now, you only have reading, writing and social studies and your specialty activity. Every day you're gonna to have to pick a specialty activity, but those are fun to do. So today is Wednesday, so all you have to do is reading, writing, and social studies today because math and science are for Tuesdays and Thursdays now. So today is Wednesday, so it's reading, writing, and social studies day. So I'll see if I can get our stuff pulled up. Having problems with my screen, not wanting to cooperate. So we'll figure it out. Whoops, now I'm lost. I lost myself. There we go. Now I got it fixed. All right, so your first subject for today is reading. So you do have four options for reading. Option one is always to choose a book and to read, and they've changed the time for that. They've changed it to 20 minutes. So you'll pick a book and read for 20 minutes, and once again, all you have to do is record the title of that book, how many pages you read, and then write that paragraph summary about what you read today, and then find somebody at your house and talk to them about what you read. And it also wants you to think about what is the main idea of the story. So what is Overall, what um, was the main idea, the main purpose of what you were reading today? And it says also what details support it. So maybe the main idea of your story is, um, I don't know, I can't think of one off the top of my head, but just think about what the main idea of your story is. What does the author want you to think about and want you to know after reading that story? And what are the details from what you read that support the fact that that is the main idea? So just think about those things when you choose a book to read and that's if you choose to do option one. If you choose to do option two, that's to log on to iStation Reading and work on the reading section for 20 minutes. So they've knocked that down to 20 minutes instead of 30 minutes. So you'll log on to iStation Reading and work for 20 minutes or you can do Freckle ELA, Spelling City, anything like that. Just log on and do those um, language arts activities, iStation Reading, Spelling City, Freckle ELA any of those and work for 20 minutes, or you can choose to do option three, which is to read the attached passage and answer the questions. So we're gonna look at that passage together and look at what questions it wants you to answer from that. So I'm gonna share my screen. <clears throat> Let's see here. It'll let me, there we go. So let me scroll down. 
So your reading passage that they want you to read is always going to be at the bottom of your day's work. So um, if you're like, I can't find where the reading passage is, it's always at the end of your day's work. So I'd have to scroll all the way to the bottom here and I'll zoom in on it. Okay, so your passage for today is called Columbus and the Egg. So um, I'll just read the first couple of sentences with you guys. It says, this is a story about Columbus. He was an explorer. He is the explorer who came to the Americas from Spain in 1492. This is a story about what might have happened long ago when he was back in Spain. So this is about Christopher Columbus who sailed to the Americas from Spain in 1492. So this is kind of just like a little story, a little fictional story about what his life might have been like back in Spain. So you're gonna read this story and then it asks you two little questions here at the bottom. That's all you have to answer is these two little questions. The main question is, what is a lesson people can learn from this story? So a lesson people can learn from this story about Columbus. So you just say, a lesson people can learn from this story is, and then whatever you think that that lesson is, and you're gonna write that answer there on these lines that it provides for you. And then it gives you this little part here that says underline the parts of the story that show what the lesson you can learn is. So you're gonna write down on these lines what you think the lesson from the story is. And then you're gonna go back up in the text and you're gonna underline those sentences that support the fact that that is the lesson you can learn. So it's just finding those, that text evidence that supports your answer. So you're gonna say what you think the lesson you can learn from this story is, and then you're going to underline the text evidence that helped you come up with that as the lesson. So it's just underlining the text evidence and writing down what you think the lesson you can learn from this story is. So that's all you have to do if you choose to do option three for reading, or you can choose to do option four. So I'll scroll back up here and we'll look at option four together. So option four is to go to that PBS link. So it's this link right here. When you click that link, it'll take you to the PBS website, and it's the ling English language arts section of the website. So you'll filter it, filter by, and you'll select five for fifth grade, and then choose any of those language arts videos to watch. You'll watch the video, do whatever the video asks you to do, and that's if you choose to do option four for reading. You just follow that link right there that's in your AMI packet, and it'll take you to where you can filter by five for fifth grade and watch any of those videos. So that is your options for reading today. And then you have your options for writing. So option one for writing, we'll just keep looking at it together. So option one for writing is to write an entry in your journal. So you may have started that coronavirus pandemic journal, or you can start it today. All you have to do to write a journal entry is write the date at the top of the page. So when did, today is Wednesday, April 22nd, so 2020. So at the top, you're just gonna write Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. And then you're just gonna write about your day. So it says this can be a story, an essay, or any writing you choose. So when you're writing a journal entry, it's your thoughts that are coming from your, from your head. What do you think about what's going on right now in the world? What are you doing today? What are you excited about doing? If you're doing nothing, if you're being lazy and sleeping in all day, what could you be doing? What do you want to do? Maybe you've created something or done something fun and you want to write about it. So, or maybe you've come up with a new game or an activity that you're doing at home. Write about that in your journal. It's just putting your thoughts on the page. So writing a journal entry, it's really fun. There's really not much structure to it. You're just writing down what you're thinking. Pretend like you're talking to somebody and like you're telling them about your day. So, and you're just writing down exactly what you would tell that person. That's how you would write a journal entry. So that's option one if you want to write an entry for that journal or start your coronavirus pandemic journal if you haven't. Or you can do option two. So option two says a slogan is a memorable motto or phrase used in political and commercial advertising with the goal of persuading members of the public. Some well-known slogan examples are, so we have Nike. So Nike's slogan is just do it. And then you also, they give the example of McDonald's. So McDonald's is the I'm loving it. So the little jingle at the end of their commercials has their slogan that I'm loving it. And then KFC is finger licking good. So that is their slogan for their food and for their company. So slogans are to help persuade people to buy products or to side, like if it's a slogan for politics, to side with a certain person. 
So it's all about persuading people to get on someone's side or to buy someone's products. So it says, today is Earth Day, by the way. So it says, in honor of Earth Day this week, design an advertisement. You may make a video commercial or an advertisement poster of any size. So you get to be a little creative and a little artsy. So you're gonna make a poster or you can even video commercial. And it says, create an Earth Day slogan to promote recycling, reusing, and or conserving. So conserving is to like um, not waste stuff. So if you're conser conserving water, like if while you're brushing your teeth, you'll turn off the water faucet. So you're not wasting water. So conserving is efforts that you use to not waste things. So and or conserving and include it in your advertisement. Display your ad for others during this week. So if you're at home, you can create an ad, maybe hang it in the window of your house for people to see when they drive by your house or anything like that or create that advertisement video. So create a commercial for recycling and conserving and reusing things. So create a commercial and post it online. So just kind of have fun with it. So think about Earth Day and think about things that people would do in order to take care of the earth. Think about things you can do to recycle. Think about things that you can reuse and how you can conserve things. So you're just going to create a slogan and an advertisement. So have fun with it if you choose to do that option too. Create that poster and create that slogan for Earth Day. Okay? So you'll do that. Be creative with it. Post it somewhere where people can see it. Maybe in the window of your house or maybe just on the wall or on your refrigerator so the people in your house can see it. Or you can create that commercial video and post it online. Have a little bit of fun with it. Okay, so that was for option two of writing. Option three of writing is to go to that same PBS link. So here it is in blue. You'll just follow that PBS link. Once again, it takes you to the English Language Arts and Literacy section of the PBS website. You'll just filter by five for fifth grade and choose any of those videos to watch. And all you have to do is whatever the video asks you to do. So just watch those videos, learn from them, do whatever they ask you to do. That is if you choose to do option three for writing today. And then now they've added in some social studies to your AMI work. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're going to do some social studies instead of science. So let's look at the social studies options they have for you today. So it says social studies. Please choose at least one option. So it says option one, you are a citizen of your school. Write a paragraph about what that means to you. So what does it mean to be a part of Tate Elementary? What are your responsibilities and why are they important? So what is your responsibility as, your, as a student? What do you do as a student and why is that important to the school? Example, listen to the teacher, work hard, etc. So what are some things you do at school that are important? And then what are your rights? So example, to be safe, to have an equal opportunity to learn, etc. So you have you have rights as a student. You have the right to be safe while you're at school and you have the right to have the opportunity to learn. So um, you're just going to write a paragraph about what your responsibilities are as a citizen of the school and why, is, um, why are your responsibilities important? Why is it important that you listen to your teacher? Why is it important that you work hard? And then what do you think your rights are as a student? Why is, it, why is it important that the school provides a safe environment for you? Why is it important that the school offers equal opportunities for everybody to learn? So why are those things important? So just write a paragraph about what it means to be a citizen of the school. So that's if you choose to do option one. Option two says make a poster advertising what a good citizen of your school would look like. So this is a little more fun and a little artsy, kind of like in your um, writing section where you're making that slogan and that camp that slogan and that poster for Earth Day. Option two for social studies is to make a poster advertising what it's like to be a good citizen of the school. What does it mean to be a good student at Tate? What does it mean to contribute to the school as a student? So make a poster advertising what a good citizen of your school would look like. What would it look like? What would you be doing? So what would you include on that poster? So that's if you choose to do option two. And then you have your specialty activities that you choose from. You always do specialty activities every day. You're just gonna choose to do PE, music, or art. So for PE today, um, it says celebrate Earth Day with this homemade tennis game made from reusable items around your house. So you're just gonna, it gives you a little picture here. I don't know if it'll let me zoom in on it or not. 
don't well, let me zoom in anymore. But what you do is you use some laundry baskets and set up a towel or a sheet as your little your little net in the middle, and then just make you some tennis rackets. You can use paper plates and tape like a stick to the back of it. And maybe you have a balloon at home, blow up a balloon and use that as a tennis ball. Maybe you have a bouncy ball, use that. Or maybe you have an actual tennis ball at home, use that. You just make those tennis rackets and hit it back and forth over the net just like you would a regular tennis game. You're just making, making these items at your home. So your homemade tennis racket and your homemade tennis net out of laundry baskets and towels or whatever you have at your home. So you're just going to play that tennis game out of things you can make at home if you choose to do PE today or if you choose to do music today. So we have the treble clef note name. So it says write the alphabet letter name of each note on the blank below. The code is broken when the alphabet letters reveal the secret word. So it's another of those code breaking, code breaking games where you have the key up here where you see that, okay, this letter or this note represents a C. This note represents D. This note is E. This note is F, G, A, B, C. And they give you the example like, okay, this note is this letter. So then you go down here and we look at this first one. So this first one looks to be a G. Then the next one is A. And then this third one here is a G. Gag? Maybe I did it right? No. I, oh, no, bag. <laughs> that first one. No, it's not gag. Miss McGee even did it wrong. So this first note is a B. The second one is a and A and then G. So the first word is bag. So the first word in this code is bag. So you'll just write the corresponding letter to each note on each line until you break that code and learn what the whole thing says. So the first word of this code is bag. So you'll have to figure out what the rest of the sentence says and break the code. So that's if you choose to do music today. Then you have art. <clears throat> so option one for art today. It says for art today, since it's going to be Earth Day, as an art activity, collect any recyclable garbage from in and around your home or yard. Use what you collect to design some form of art. You can use recyclable materials to design, draw, and build a creature, building, or whatever else you can imagine. So find some things that would be considered garbage in your home. So it could be like a paper sack or um, some string, anything you have laying around your home and reuse those items to create something. Use them to create a creature, a building, or whatever else you want. So you can design it, draw it, build it, create it. So that's option one for art. So using those items that you can reuse in your home like plastic bottles or paper sacks and create something with it for art. Or you can choose to do option two for art which is to click on the link below to print out and color Earth Day animal pages. So it just gives you this link to um, print out Earth Day animal pages that you can color. So you follow that link, print them off, and color them. Or if you don't have a printer, pull them up on your, um, on your device, and maybe you can color them from your device. So find a way to make it work. So that's option two for art. Getting a little stormy outside, and my lights are, my lights are blinking in my house. So we got to wrap up this video in case I lose electricity. So... Stay safe, stay healthy. It's a little stormy out there, so hopefully your electricity stays on. Stay safe in all this weather. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, keep sanitized, six feet away from each other, and remember, remember, remember that I love and I miss you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day.